What is going on, guys? I asked on the Facebook page if you guys wanted a little tutorial now that I figured out the <coughs> sawmill over by the lumber yard. Because initially I was confused with it as the manual didn't completely say everything, but that's alright. That's why I decided to make this tutorial. So, first off, you always spawn with <coughs> your scorpion and a trailer. Now I sold the default trailer and I got a modded one of course with the auto load feature. So I went and cut a bunch of trees down, brought them over, and then initially I came over to the grapple over here because in the manual it says something about putting them into uh, the cell area over here and then they will be automatically sold as wood chips when that might be true slowly over time but it's to me personally was a little bit misleading so I put all of my logs in here and then I was confused about why I wasn't getting any money as you can see now I'm not getting any money but of course I didn't put any logs in there let's see if we cut up this one then you can I can just show you real quick oops I'm just gonna throw this one in here now you see it takes it if you look up in the upper right hand corner at the money it isn't going up at all you can see kinda an area where wood chips might be sold and there's no money going up it's not automatically selling everything so this initially was kinda off put me this right here also is the counter of how many liters of logs you have in there and as you can see I do have a lot of liters and that is just because you need to process them so if you come around to the back of the sawmill there will be a monitor as you see I have a couple pallets already processing there will be a monitor around the back here and it will tell you if you look in the upper left fuels logs and then what it's producing now I I didn't know that you needed to put wood chips will wool or straw into there to be able to create these um, two by two by fours I think. yeah they're two by fours be able to create these pallets of two by fours so I didn't know that but on the manual it does say input here and output over here but it also said over where you input there that it will give you wood chips so that was a little bit misleading to me now that I figured that out, it makes it a lot simpler. A uh, tip for if you're going to really go this route um, at the sawmill, you should most likely speed up time to about 30, as it does take a long time to process. If we just go do that real quick, you can see how when I turn it up to like 120 times, how quickly that goes up so it really does help to put the time off if you're serious about getting a lot of output over here now when you come over to the wood chipper over here the big wood chipper it's like the sawmill in that you have to wait for it to process now right now I have 160,000 liters of logs which you just come up to this ramp and dump up in here or in my case I just auto loaded them in here because it's a big map got a lot of things to do you know so you come over here and as you can see there's a wood chip and a logs and then you can set it to manual charging or if hit R it will make it automatic and it looks like the trailer isn't on it otherwise it would be emptying into the trailer so that also takes a lot of time to process as you can see now it's starting to go up very slowly if you saw yep there it goes it flashed again so the biggest thing with the sawmill is I think one of the best things to do is put some logs in here put some logs in there wait for it to pro like go do some harvesting or something wait for it to process put your fuel in there and then just let that process for a while now another thing that the manual didn't mention was this pit over here where the wood chips were that is also a wood chip cell point which is very handy to have because 
like I said, the manual didn't point it out exactly. So over here, if you bring over wood chips, it will indeed, it is indeed a cell area. That can seem kind of obvious, but I wasn't sure until I tried it, and it happened to work. So that's very nice to know if you need a little cash boost. And because the sawmill is so slow, you could probably sell a lot of the wood chips that you put into the chipper over there before needing fuel again. Because I had this running for the first pallet for 20 minutes on 60 times and a little bit of the second pallet and then I was on here for six hours real time just doing other work and it's barely produced much, any, much of anything. Alright guys, I hope this little tutorial of the basic logging area has helped you and if I figure out anything else on the map that might be a little bit misleading through the manual I will probably make another tutorial, bring it up to attention maybe in the Facebook group. So yeah guys, see you next time.